So this short video is to help you complete the D4 and D2 forms that you would have been issued with before your medical. The D4 form, medical examination report, would have been completed mainly by the doctor, but there are a few small items just to double check before it gets sent off. The first of which is on page one, it's the grey section on the left here, where you need to complete your name, address, contact details, and if you have a GP, their contact details here. Please ignore the question in the middle saying date first licence to drive a bus or lorry. The next thing to check is from page two onwards, uh, where you need to fill in your full name and date of birth. Please ensure that you've done this. The doctor may have asked you to do it at the medical itself, but just double check it. Now this is uh, continued on the bottom of every page up to and including page seven. Whilst on page seven, we would ask you to check that the examining doctor's signature and stamp has been completed. So stamp, uh, signature and date. The final page is the applicant's declaration. You are the applicant. Please ensure that you've printed your name, signed and dated the form and annotated the boxes uh, in the correct places with an X. The second form to be completed is the D2. This is to ask the DVLA to add the provisional entitlement to your licence. Number one, what are you applying for? Put an X in first entitlement. Check the course that you've booked or ring us for advice, but generally it's going to be a C or a C1. You may even have a new edition of a form now which will have C plus E. As I say, if you are in any doubt, please call the office. Your details, we will entrust you to complete the your details part of this form. Number three, your eyesight and hearing, just a number of questions here. You would have had an eyesight test during your medical. The first question, can you meet the legal eyesight standard for driving? That's generally going to be a yes answer, so please put an X in there. The next two questions you will know the answer to because it's basically asking you whether you need to wear glasses or lenses to meet the driving test standard. There is also a question asking you if you are deaf. Organ donation, purely voluntary. Uh, please feel free to fill that out or ignore it. The Your Conduct box, you can also ignore that box. Number four, Your Health. There are 23 um, questions here about your medical history. You will know the answers to these. Please read all 23 very carefully. If you have suffered or do suffer from any of those conditions, you must put an X in the appropriate box and then put an X at the top. If you have not suffered from any of those conditions, then please put an X in the No box. Number five, your proof of identity. Not to worry too much about this one because your proof of identity that you're going to enclose with your application will be your driving license. So there's no need to tick any boxes or include copies of passports or birth certificates. Number six, also very straightforward and can be ignored because the DVLA will be using your current license that they hold, a picture of your face, on their system. They'll put this on your new license as well. So there's no need to get a new photograph or have that verified. Just skipping down to number seven, your declaration next to the word important. Please complete the date on or around you're going to submit your application. That needs to be in day, day, month, month and the full year. And very carefully put your signature in the white box and be very careful not to go into the green frame at any point because they will reject your application. Just sliding over to the left here, the green your checklist. I have signed the form, put an X in that box. My last license put an X in that box and the final box at the bottom a filled in medical examination report D4. Please put an X in that box. So when you've completed and checked both those forms you need to send them both in an envelope to the DVLA the address of which we would have issued you when we first contacted you with your initial email um, and also please remember to enclose your driving license.